All my coffee lovers, this one is for you. Welcome to Jamaica. Welcome to the hills of Blue Mountain, where we have the best coffee in the world, the Blue Mountain coffee. Arguably the most expensive coffee around because of the growing condition and just the area that it's grown in. We'll talk a little bit more about that. We're about to head to a coffee farm where we will meet Mr. Junior Dennis, where he will teach us a little bit more about coffee and how we grow coffee and how it become one of the most potent one of the best coffee ever so we're gonna learn a lot today watch to the very end of the video because later on we'll be learning about the traditional process of taking the coffee from bean stage all the way to you drinking your cup of authentic unblended blue mountain coffee remember to like comment share subscribe follow me at Russian in on all my social media pages in Instagram Twitter TikTok all about and you know don't know this channel is about educating you while entertaining you so we could go do both ready let's go Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> before I'm here with Mr. Juna Dennis from Dennis Coffee Farms and we're about to tour the farm right now and taste some coffee and see how oh, everything I'm with coffee. I'm yeah. excited you know? Yeah. So yeah for just show with the show thing you know? Me, yeah. Yeah man. Yeah. Ready alright? Yeah. <laughs> so we have every, every little mix try in the farm. These are lime, tangerine tree. Oh so it's more than just coffee. Right. Are the co what is this? Tangerine. Tangerine. Okay. And you have lime, lemon. lemon, big lemon. This is what is this? Um, French thyme. French thyme. Oh, this smells good. Yeah, put it in the soup. Guys. Yeah. French thyme, otherwise known as cat mint. Yeah. Yo, that tea is supposed to smell, supposed to taste good. Yeah. But this, this smell like you can put it uh, like incense. Yeah. Like put it in water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that diffuse the water or something. Yeah. It's so strong. So I'm seeing a lot of banana trees here. Yes, I'm planting. And planting. Yeah. Only just look oh yeah. Mommy don't that's a pick of the people that lemon. Mm. Mr. Mm. Sheva drop and roll, you see? These are the coffee. What you, you have to sow it and take it out and pack it. These are the seeds in. The seedlings? Yes. So wait, these are the green seeds? Yeah. So you put in here to yeah. grow? Yeah. Okay. And sit over here. You ready to plant? Oh. Some more time you have some weeds in it, you have to root out the weeds. Pull out the weeds. Oh, because these what these will kill the plant? Yeah. You have yeah. to pop out them sitting there. Yeah. So That's them just dropping out. So. They come out of the dirt. And the wind blow them in there sometimes. Right, right. right. Okay. Mm. So this is a coffee plant. Yeah. Yeah. This is a this is a dwarf. A dwarf. Yeah. Why why is it a dwarf? These are short. Don't grow tall. Oh, see, so trees that grow taller than this. Yeah. Typical. See there. These are typical. Over there. So wait, this is a typical. Yeah. And this is a dwarf. Yeah. Because it's short. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And these are the beans. Yeah. So you have to do it like these. Pick them one one mm -hmm. by one. The red red one, you have to cherry. Oh, very simple, soft. But you don't pick the green ones at no, all? No, no, no. Just the red cherry looking Yeah. Ones. So yeah. there are only two types of trees? No, you have all different types. You have yellow catora. Yellow catora coffee tree? Yeah. So what's the difference between that and a typical? It grow, um, when it's ripe, it's yellow. Yeah. The beans that are yellow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And the next tree, um, geisha. Geisha. Yeah. That's another coffee plant. Yeah, geisha. Hello, puppy. 
Yeah, you're not no. going to do anything. No, I'm not like when them come up so close. Yeah. So I can tell you guys read this one recently. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. the, the tree is practically empty. Yeah, it's em empty. Wow. Mm -hmm. Everything gone. Yeah, so if you look on the tree here, mm -hmm. it's neat enough to put on flowers, what? white flowers. Oh. See there? The okay. thing there is knitting. So, so tell me something about how long does it take from this stage for you to get a bean on the tree? No, it's the harvest time now. Mm -hmm. So you're going to finish April going down to May. So, so from January to May? Yeah, and by um, August, September, mm -hmm. you have about red berries on mm. the tree here. Okay. Yeah. I'm seeing, are those lemons? That's a lemon tree. Yeah, right? yeah, it's a lemon. It's a lot of lemons. And nice look. See in them up there? In Kingston, it's very expensive, you know. Yeah, lemons are expensive. Yeah. So guys, I just want to show you yeah. what my mom is like when I take her on these vlogs. On the farm. She's so excited. She's so excited whenever yes. plants are... You see. Are there. Look at her, picking up all of the man lemon. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at, look at that. When I say I would stick, you say I would stick. Okay. It just for jumping in. That wasn't enough for you. That wasn't enough for you. Wanna look here? Wanna just look there? Wanna just look there? So guys, as I mentioned, we are in Blue Mountains and we're on the farm looking at the Blue Mountain coffee beans. One of the most controversial and one of the most expensive coffees in the world. And the reason for this is because of the growing conditions, the altitude in which it's grown. It is 4,000 feet above sea level and anything grown above 3,000 feet above sea level is usually considered great. You know, because the beans are grown to be harder and the harder the beans, the higher the quality. And the higher the quality, the more expensive it is to harvest. The more expensive it is to harvest, the more expensive it is for the consumer to purchase, right? So it is quite an expensive one. It is quite tasty. It is quite delicious. It is one of those that people rave for. The Blue Mountain coffee is actually in high demand worldwide, but mostly in the Japanese market. And once you smell it, once you taste it, you can understand why if you're a coffee lover. The thing is, just like the designation that Champagne has, where if it's not from the Champagne region, then it's not considered Champagne. It's the same thing with the Blue Mountain coffee. If it's not grown above 3,000 feet above sea level in the Blue Mountains, it is not considered to be authentic Blue Mountain coffee. And Anyways, let us continue to learn some more about coffee and leave in the comment section below your comments about coffee. What do you know about coffee? What did you learn in this video about coffee? And what can you impart on me and on the rest of the viewers about coffee? Let's go. Remember, we're learning together. So leave your comment below and remember to press that like button. Let's go. When coffee get too old, you cut it back, you know. When it gets too old? Yeah, and come back, baby. See there? So what part of it do you cut? Cut. What do you call it? Say, you, you cut off the mother. And just make the bit. So when you say old, you mean these leaves? No, Because man. they have the hole in right. them? did they know? Like these, these trees, um, these trees you plant it first. Mm -hmm. And they get too old. So you can cut it back. So you cut that the stem? Yeah, you cut it back in August. Mm -hmm. And when it come up back, when it starts spring back, mm -hmm. if it have um, five branches on it, mm -hmm. it depends on how it is. you can take off the tree on it. And, and you, you can clip it. And if you don't want it to come tall, you can make it round. Oh, you make it round. You just cut it, cut out the um, maple. You don't, and it's spread out, spread out. So yeah. what? Wait, where's the middle? These are the maple, man. Where's the middle? These spread out. You have to start from early, cut it, pick out the mm -hmm. heads, and it's gonna spread right. And it's gonna out. go wide instead yeah. of tall. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Mm. Interesting. Let me tell another piece to do the so this one, this one right here, yeah, they cut off the middle of Yes, it. yes, see there. So I go broad instead of tall. See there. Look at it, look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many acres of coffee is this? Two and a half acres up here. Okay. And you have the next. Let me go to some of the other farm. And how big is that farm? Okay, that one is um, four acres. Four acres, two and a half acres, okay. And I noticed that in between the coffee there are fruits yeah, that cane. are planted. There's cane. sugar cane yeah. right there. There's Orange. A, so the papaya that Eddie? Yeah. Papaya? Eddie, climb the tree. You missed that one. Mm. Eddie, climb the tree, my friend. You don't have to because Mama didn't have to see. <laughs> All right, these, these are guava. Guava? Guava. When, what part, what time of the year do you have guava season? Okay, we have it in um, I part April. April? Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, guava yeah, leaf yeah, man, tea. yeah, man. For yeah, man. the penis? Guava leaf. Something is wrong with your nature, Eddie? Eat this one. No, I just want to be a Eddie, friend. something is wrong with your nature? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. You can eat this. Yeah. Yeah, you need some papaya? No, papaya. Drop it down. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say about the papaya? The papaya tree. What exactly it should do if you have problems with the nature like Eddie? Yeah. Yeah. Come Eddie, here's yeah. this, here, here, here for your nature. Take it. <laughs> Eddie's having problem with his nature, so he got guava leaf. So, so what else should he get? Come and tell him. Share me all here, the maca. Yeah? The one when you touch it, it'll lock up. Lock up. You know it? Share me dog. We good to them. We call it Shemi Dog. Tell him how to make it, I'm serious in it. Just boil it. Yeah. Come down to me here, you get it. I have a plan. No, man, so you boil it. You have to boil it. For those who want to know, you can use the green leaves. You have to put the pimento there. Mommy, one thing at a time. No, no, no. Green leaves. She gets so excited when she sees plants. To make it. Or if you want a more potent one, you put it to dry. And then you boil it, make a tea and drink it. And what's it do? And make sure you have a girl. What is a girl that drink it? Remember say it to fix your nature. Mm -hmm. Day. Dead. <laughs> you can't leave I the bag. You're going to need to drink your leash. So fam, first of all, we just want to take a good look for mommy. Oh, she uproot all of the people, them things. Nothing left on the farm. Nothing. She take up everything. But am I real though? You know, oftentimes a lot of you are, a lot of us, let me say a lot of us, when we think about Jamaica, we think of, and we think about the tourist attractions and what we want to do as fun in Jamaica. We oftentimes look to things like Dungeon River Falls and you know the things that are in the media and while those are good and gravy, sometimes a lot of these cultural holistic experiences are what we actually need. And you know in life we say everything is balanced. So while you do that, I'd always encourage you to do some of this kind of things too. You know, like a lot of us have been living in Jamaica and we've never really gone to explore the flora and the fauna. We've never really gone to explore what the wild outdoors look and feel like. Like how many of you have ever been to this side of Jamaica? How many of you have ever been to Blue Mountains? How many of you have ever been into Portland Hills or into St. Elizabeth Hills? You know, how many of you have ever done that? I don't think a lot of people have and I definitely encourage you to get out and to go out and to explore and to see and to do things. We oftentimes get caught up in 
the cost factor of things and say, oh, if we do anything, it's too expensive. But I want to let's say, these kind of things are actually quite cost efficient. It's just about knowing where to go and what to do. And you have people that are offering services and places offering services that have tours that you can go on. You guys know Gravity from the Ibo Spice video that I did. He actually offers tours around Kingston and around Jamaica doing different activities and excursions close to nature and more idle style. So for a tour like this in Blue Mountain, this is something that he would could curate for you and even have a food experience along the way for you. So I'd encourage you to check him out. His handle on Instagram is Kingston Music Tours. So I said, get out, explore, learn, get closer to earth, get closer to nature, especially in these times where you say we have these diseases and these viruses and all of these things that are happening. I mean, the only true cure is things from the land. Connect things have connected with nature and get with it. So this has been a wonderful experience. Um, my feel good, my lungs feel good, <laughs> my heart feel good, my brain feel good. Right now, I'm going to practice some of my mommy breathing. Hum, what name? Wim Hof. <laughs> Wim Hof. Never heard of it, never done it, but mommy's teaching us about it, so we're about to go do some of it now and I'll tell you how it goes. But get out more, get out more, do some more, and I'm not like it feel good. And you know, say, I'm not going to lead you know, astray. If the thing is not good, and I know I'm very straightforward, I'm going to tell them, say, eh, I'm going to eat this. And I know that's what a lot of you like about me, especially with the house tours. I say, eh, this one clean, the place doesn't look good. I'm going to tell them, say, uh-huh, I'm going to eat. But my mom tell us, this is it. Like things like this are it. And I know how much you guys love watching these videos, so I keep doing it too. And I, I personally enjoy it. So get out, come Street. out, go out. And when I travel to Jamaica, I come do one of these kind of tours. All right? Yeah. Well said, Rashida. Yeah. The atmosphere is just. <laughs> breathtaking. Well. Yeah, and look at. Oh no, just look on the views. Moa! Moa! Oh no, tell me if you now see the views. Like the views are so beautiful. So the Junker Mountain is over that side. This side is Blue Mountain Peak over there. Alright guys, so right now we're gonna pick and taste the coffee. I'm kinda scared. Never taste coffee on the tree before but well, let's look for it so we're told to look for the red beans in fact see some red beans are right across the way some nice red beans so look here are the, the beans you're gonna have this one thank you so we taste it <laughs> squeeze it squeeze it pull it out What's gonna bite it? Squeeze it. Mm, I can't Put it in the hand middle because it will fly out. Oh! Mm. The one they pop. soft one. Mm -hmm. You can't just bite it. Bite it then. It is open. What a little sweet taste. Yes. It tastes like flowers. <laughs> I may eat flowers. Mm -hmm. As a child, we used to go pick grandma one. I stopped them off. Uh, and when she catch me, yeah. we have to put them for dry. I mean, honestly, guys, my honest review, I don't think this is something I'll be eating. <laughs> you never tell nobody to eat. And I don't think someone will like at all. But if you want to try it, by all means, but it ain't for me. <laughs> so guys, it is 1.24 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon and there is no sun out right now. The place is cool. It's a little bit overcast, I believe. I can hear the river down there. And if we come here, you can actually see some mist in the hills and the fog. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. But that just goes to show you where we are exactly, you know, and the difference in temperature. It feels a lot like when I went to 
more town in Portland. But when I went to Akompong in St. Elizabeth, I mean, it's a little cooler than Akompong, Akompong though, but it's very similar to more town. But this feels refreshing. Like, how far is the river from here? Over here. Yeah. It's a far walk because I can hear it. On the grass here from here. Oh, it's not a clear path. Amazing! So that's another one of the tours that are offered here. They have the dirt biking. They also have the mountain bike tours with the guys on the bicycle and the cycle, cycling and exercising to keep healthy and fit. So there are quite a lot of tours that happens in the Blue Mountain areas. And they're not that expensive, especially for locals. You know, it attracts a higher cost for tourists because you know it's a tourist destination. But <laughs> for the locals, or even if you're living overseas but you have a Jamaican ID of some sort, you'll get local price. But tourists, I don't know where it go. <laughs> but um, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna do that quad biking next. So you guys watch out for that. I can't promise you on the mountain biking though because the mountain is steep and fed up on bicycle. I mean, I'm not really trust that one there. You know what I'm saying? Over the hay. So we just I'll leave the farm now. We're going to head into the cafe, into the coffee shop. We're going to learn how the coffee is made. We're going to see it first hand. And mommy coming, she pick up every bush out of the farm. And I care about Kingston, would we? Must say every every farm I care for and she do this and then pull onto her backyard and look like a whole farm. I'm not too well. It's a part of it. But look over here guys. Over here. Look, it's misty. Look at that. You can barely see the mountains anymore because of all this white foggy misty. So I'll show you how cool it is, you know? For those of you in the States that are used to this kind of thing, just imagine us in sunny, sunny Jamaica with this. All right, so talk yeah. to us now about what's happening right here. Yo, know, these are the coffee in the tray. These are the this is co this is all, all coffee? Uh, yes, this is all coffee. Mm -hmm. These are the green one. Okay. Don't ready us yet. So when it's ready, find red berries, cherry. It looks like cherry. Oh, You're right. look at it. So these are the ripe and the yeah. coffee beans. Okay. Yeah. Now what happens next? You have to get it out the skin like these. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you have to put it into a, a big tub. A tub of water? Yeah. Okay. Overnight soaking. Take off the syrup. Uh -huh. It I feel it so simple. Oh yeah, it is slippery. So yes. you have to get off this slippery coating. Yes. By putting it in the water. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you put it out to dry. Then I put, so you do it overnight for 24 hours or just one night? Yes, just one night. You can keep it up to up to three days. Okay. Uh, so three what? days soaking and yeah. then what happens next? You put it out to dry. Put it to dry? Yeah. Up to three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks are drying? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. man. Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Start when hot sun out there, you get it properly dry. Mm -hmm. It come like this. Okay. It's very crisp. Gotcha. Crisp like a peanut. Yeah. And then you have to and strip it, it off now. And it's ready to roast. Mm -hmm. And it come like these. Sometimes, if you want dark roast, you can get it. If you want light roast, you can get it. So what's the difference between dark roast and light roast? Does it taste stronger. different? Stronger. So the longer it roasts, the stronger it is? Yeah, yeah. Mm, so the darker it is, the more potent it is. Right, right. Instead the black yeah. of the berry, the sweeter the juice. Yeah, right. Or the darker the flesh, the deeper the roots. Mm. Very sweet. Okay. Mm. So what's happening in this machine right now? Like here, I say. See? Oh, it's brewing. Yeah, this is a percolator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Some people so are... you're brewing the seeds itself? Or no. It's a powder? You have to powder it. Okay. Yeah. Put it in the machine. Mm-hmm. 
I can put it in that thing out there where the guys beat the mortar and pieces and pieces. Okay. Yeah. And you have to put it in here. Some people have a drip. Mm-hmm. Throw the water and just dip down the coffee in there. Mm-hmm. Like a bag. Okay. Yeah. So that knocking sound we're hearing outside is someone in the mortar? Yeah. Alright, let's go and look at it. Yeah. So this is the process of how you roast the coffee beans? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you don't put anything in it at all? No. And that's beans on the pot? Right. And a fire? Right, fire and beans, you know? Mm, okay. So how long you do this for? Forty five minutes, two and a hour. So you sit down and do this for forty five minutes? Yeah. With your hands? Right. You're not right. get tired? All day. Work and shift, you know? And shift? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Smell the aroma. Whoa. Mm -hmm. wow. It is strong. Smells good. Yeah, man, you have to just take time when you just put it in. If it's it a clump, clump, it just flash out. So when you get powder, you can lick it more harder. So this is the coffee being yeah. pounded? Yeah. Yeah. Smell the aroma. Yes, it smells good. Yeah. That is a chocolate color. Mmm. Yeah. So this so, now, tell me something now. What yeah? kind of pot? What kind of kettle is this? Kettle. Yeah man, I shen kettle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This kettle is probably over Can. 30 years old. Wow. Yeah man, up to, up to. Wow. Up to 50 man. So you don't add milk or sugar to your coffee? But well, some people love it um, natural. natural. Mm. Some love it with sugar, so cream. This is the, the, the finished result. But when you drink it like this, right? you get the. Uh, After hard work. So these coffee farmers in Blue Mountain, they work really hard, you know. Yeah. So when you see Blue Mountain coffee in the supermarket, when you see Blue Mountain coffee in the coffee shops and all that, it's not an easy job to get the coffee to the finished result. This is what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Tastes good? I can is it better? Good Absolutely. Man. Great taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But let's take a look at this coal stove, yeah. wood fire setup. This is so interesting to me. Yeah. What kind of wood is this? Grape wood. Grape. Grape. Grape wood? Yeah. Wild grape. Wild grape wood. Wow. Yeah. And this is grape tree? Yeah, the birds feed on it. There are some little seeds. Mm hmm Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, man. And then you just set up this... Fireside. This yeah. fireside cooking. And this yeah. is where all of the cooking go on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. We can just imagine the food supposed to taste well. These are beans. Gungu. Oh, so rice and peas are going to cook today? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. Right, I yeah, love right. it. If you see this cover, this cover is um ceramic. Yeah. Because I'm wondering how you have a plate on top mm, of the pot, pot and it don't break. And it don't break. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. It's magic. Blue mountain magic. Blue mountain yeah, magic. magic. Must be. Yeah. But I don't even met the kettle is like I've never seen a kettle like that in yeah. person. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, interesting. Can I, can I beat it? Yeah. So I've done this before when I was um I went on a on School a trip? no I went yeah, on yeah. a castor oil farm, right? The castor beans and I had to beat it like oh, this. Oh yeah, castor oil. Yeah. 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 And I have to do the same thing like this. And now yeah. you're doing it with a coffee. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, you know, if you're angry or somebody you want to take out all of your anger somewhere, yeah. just get one of this. Yeah. Uh, uh. Mm. And then the coffee drunk you. Uh. 
Yeah. But like, yeah. You get ready. It feels good though. But all we know is that the muscle strength when you feel it, they take a lot. That is all spice. Yeah. Pimento stick. Oh. You feel it? Yeah. Uh, can't do it. All spice. So you must, you must get some of the flavor out of the pimento too, don't you? Yeah, you get flavor. It's easy and bring it like this, you know. Mm -hmm. Feel it. Smooth it up. Smooth. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So they might have a work in Oh. You see this, that? This is cedar and this is mawo, blue mawo. Nice. Blue mawo, one is strong. Yeah. Nice. Blue mawo. Prepared. So tell me where you cook now. What? Yellow yam and banana. Yeah? It's fresh, you know? Oh my gosh. Nice, nice, nice. And what we eat today? I'm fed some steamed vegetables. Yeah? That's the eye. It's the Yes, man. Mm-hmm. Alright, my ready, my belly ready. Belly ready up? Get two plates and four, man. Close my eyes, close my eyes. God is good, God is good. Let's just thank him for our food. Amen. One of them, yeah, man? Yeah. So, which one may go put so much food? <laughs> what may go put so much food? Punch your man, feed your man in a baby. Eh? In your bottle. No, this is a lot of food. In your bottle, rushing in. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Banana nice and soft. Yeah, Where you call them kind of banana? Yeah? Blue mountain banana. <laughs> yeah, blue mountain banana. Food mm -hmm. is good. I'm going to take a look at what's going on right there. Mm -hmm. Big pepper in a few I want. <laughs> hey, then. Oh, you finished eating off the food so quick. Yes, I didn't eat anything from the morning, guys. She have us here starving. <laughs> <laughs> but the food was good, so nothing is supposed to be left in the plate. So what the tongue in for? What the tongue in for? Because sometimes I have to, you know, I have to eat. Oh, sweet, the food, sweet, man. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm in the sky right now. Even though I'm on the platform, I'm in the sky, guys. I'm not at the ground level. So that's why you're at one? Yes. Fine. Here's your fine. So what I'm when I carry him go fine, guys. I know my film of it there. I'm not going to speak Chinese. No, I'm going to talk Jamaican, man. I'm going to speak Chinese. I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to talk. All right, all right. I'm giving you guys a breakdown of what Roshi has a story. Talk the truth now, talk the truth now. If me not starve, you wouldn't get food. But <laughs> Guys, so this experience has been so good. And Otis, I just want to say big up yourself for the food. It was so good. I tell. <laughs> you know, the banana, them soft. The yam, soft. 
the vegetable just right like you know, we feel good we feel good we feel good but guys when you do come on an excursion or a tour like this well for one you'll hear those sounds in the background because people have the quad bike tours going on outside but also you can get food you'll get introduced to coffee you'll get to learn about coffee i didn't show you everything in this video because some of it we have to save until you come on the tour for yourself say thank you so much yeah more love man it's a blessing to meet a girl it's a blessing it's so to meet. sweet thank you <laughs> the food is so sweet too <laughs> All right, guys, so remember, if you're looking for authentic Blue Mountain coffee, this is definitely one of the stops. If you're looking for an authentic Jamaican experience, this is definitely it. And of course, if you want some more Jamaica, authentic Jamaican experiences virtually, you know where to continue to check out. You know you need to continue watching your girl, Rushalyn, at Rushalyn on YouTube. I want big up gravity. Thank you so much for the strength. Big up on yourself. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me all over, and I'll see you guys in the next one.